Hi everyone, I'm Ella and I joined South Royal High School three years ago from Littlestone Primary School and today I'm going to introduce to you the Maths and Humanities faculties. Hello, I'm Mr Blackburn, the Faculty Progress Leader for Humanities and I hope you enjoy the tour of the Humanities faculty. First, let's look at the History Department. I wanted to talk to you about our approach to teaching history at South Wirral High. We are teachers who are passionate about our subject and want you to learn as much as possible about history, a subject we care a great deal about. In history, there is always a lot of work to do, but you will be dealing with important events, people and happenings that have shaped the world into what it is today. Through your lessons with us in Year 7, you will unearth the truth about Iron Age sacrifice understand the terrible power medieval kings wielded, evaluate some of the biggest challenges that people faced and overcame, and learn lessons from the past which can offer us hope and guidance for the challenges we face today. As a famous historian once said, love history and you can gossip about the world's most outrageous characters, laugh at the strangest events, quake with horror at mankind's most appalling excesses, I hope you enjoy your virtual tour of history in the Humanities Faculty and I will leave you with our very own Mr Murray with his collection of historical artefacts. Enjoy! Good evening everyone, uh, welcome to the History Department of South Wirral, my name is Mr Murray and I'm here to talk to you tonight about some of our fantastic artefacts that we use in our history lessons here at school and hopefully you'll be able to see some of these uh, when you come next year. Um, and at the end of this little presentation there'll be a little competition so stick around and there'll be um, a chance for you to be interactive and get involved with history here at Southie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through a couple of these items, a couple of these artefacts that I really like talk to you about them a little bit and then you guys can explore the rest uh, on the video so we'll go straight in i'm going to start with this okay so this here is a replica of a 1500 or 16th century uh, reader okay so what this is is your this is your 16th century version of uh, a kindle or an ipad okay so when the really wealthy people were in school because only the really wealthy people got to go to school they would have little uh, a little slot in the side of this and they would place in their, uh, their piece of paper that they need to learn from and they would just spend the day reading this in their English lessons and repeating it out loud and learning to read and it's got verses from the Bible okay so there was a little bit of an element of religion in there as well but I think that's a really fascinating artifact and a little window into how uh, people used to learn at school obviously we've come a long way since then um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is a little bit well, very different from a reader this is a uh, 19th century um, Napoleonic Wars cannonball okay and as you can see it's been fired um, at least once and it's been substantially damaged but the cannonball unlike what you see in Hollywood films they don't explode when when they hit something okay a cannonball is a solid ball of uh, often lead um, or iron and these will be fired at great speeds usually at buildings or ships but sometimes at people as well and if this hit you it would put a very big hole in you to be fair and um, quite often soldiers would like to uh, try and take some of these cannonballs home as souvenirs and they would wait until the cannonball had been fired and they'd try and sort of catch them as they slow down on the ground long after they come out the cannon and they put their foot out to stop it and the speed would be totally misjudged and they'd lose their foot okay so a really brutal uh, a really brutal piece of warfare there and then finally the last thing i want to talk to you about is the uh, this item here okay and this item is known as a penny lick it's my favorite item that we've got here in the school okay i really love this it's such a fascinating piece of uh, history with the penny lick um, we invented ice cream before we invented the means to hold it and so in the 1800s and in the early 1900s ice cream sellers up and down the uk would be taking their ice cream around in a cart and they would they would have a bell to let people know or a whistle to let the children know that they were around and the, and the children would come out and they'd grab a penny because it was a penny for some ice cream and each ice cream seller would have one of these and so you'd have a queue and all of you would line up and you'd run to be the first person there and the reason why is because this is what your ice cream came in 
So your ice cream man would take your penny, he would put a scoop of the ice cream in the penny lick and you would take it and you would lick the ice cream out, hence the name penny lick. Obviously the big problem with that was that this wasn't washed in between. So you put your penny lick to the ice cream man, he would take it and put another scoop of ice cream in and the next person in and the next person and the next person would all lick this, the same item. And I don't need to tell you um, what would happen in the end, a lot of children were getting very sick from uh, licking from the penny lick and so um, uh, other genius human beings would then go on to invent the ice cream cone which of course is edible um, to stop people from catching all kinds of nasty illnesses by sharing a glass penny lick there so that's just there's just some of the artifacts that we've got uh, here at South Wirral and if, if you like, please stick around and have a little look um, at the rest of them. Our, our very talented Mr. Stewart is going to take his camera around these uh, artefacts now and then there'll be a quiz at the end. So please stick around for that. And I can't wait to see you in September. Thanks very much. Also here in eBook you have your life studies lessons and it's such an important subject because you'll learn a huge range of things. During your time at South Royal High School you'll experience a number of things. You may well make new friends, you will have new lessons, you will get to be an age where you can go on social media and you may start a relationship with somebody. You will grow up and you will experience lots of changes. So because of this, life studies is one of the most important and integral subjects that you could take at Southwell High School. It's linked in with the Loric Pledges and it accompanies everything that you can do to become a well-rounded and safe individual. In life studies, we learn about our future, climate change and the dangers of tobacco and drugs. We will look at and understand what it means to grow up, the changes we will experience, the relationships we will enter into and what it means to live in this diverse and exciting world with a focus on the LGBTQ plus community. You will learn citizenship values, what it means to be British with a focus on parliament, politics and big debates. In life studies, we learn what bullying and friendship means. We will learn how important our money is. We will learn about our budget and where our pocket money can go. Life studies is a great lesson in life. Hello! And then, what was it? Now we'll head upstairs and look at the Faith and Philosophy team. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Clough and I teach Faith and Philosophy here at South Royal High School. My room is P14. As you look around the room, you can see that my displays are a mixture of advice, curriculum information and students' work. I hope my room is a welcoming place you enjoy learning in. A few years ago, we changed the name of our subject from religious education because we felt that religious education did not properly reflect what we teach here at South Wirral. We do teach about world religions and how people's faith impacts the way they live their lives, but that is by no means all that we cover. In Year 7, we start off with philosophy, which the students really enjoy. We ask how we can know that something or someone exists, and you can guess how we can find out what, if anything, I have in my philosophy box, and it changes every year, so you can't cheat. So what is philosophy? Philosophy is a Greek word taken from philine, which means to love, and sophia, which means wisdom. So philosophy is an appreciation or a love of wisdom. Basically, it's about asking the big questions in life like, does God exist? Where does evil come from? Philosophy certainly makes you think. It's an essential transferable skill for our students to get them ready for the world of work. 
Our first unit is a philosophy unit that asks where the universe came from. We explore the scientific theories and the religious creation stories and think about whether it's possible to believe in both. Our Sikhism unit teaches the students about Guru Nanak and the beginnings of the Sikh faith, including their teachings and how these teachings are applied in everyday life of a Sikh, especially in the Gurdwara. Next we learn about festivals of light, particularly Hanukkah and Diwali. Our students learn the stories that the festivals are based on and how the festivals are celebrated by Hindus and Jews today. And we learn about the characters by playing top trumps. Learning about the story of Ramayana when we do Diwali leads us very neatly into learning about Hinduism, the oldest world religion. We learn lots of facts, including about the gods and goddesses and have to solve a moral dilemma. Places of worship are often central to the belief of many religious believers. In this unit, we explore the insides of these buildings and find out the significance of their features and how they help the faithful worship. Heroes of the Old Testament is our final unit of work and this sets students up for the study of the Abrahamic religions in year eight. We begin in year eight learning about Judaism and the best way to do that is to look at their history. FP helps to fulfill the school's obligation to provide social, moral, spiritual and cultural education to our students. They can share their views and opinions in a meaningful way. It's an interesting and stimulating subject that helps students appreciate and respect the views and beliefs of others. This is essential in our modern day multicultural society. But we really look forward to meeting you next September. The other humanity subjects are over in P Park. Let's go and see the job. Okay, Hello and welcome to Southwell High School Geography Department. My name is Mr Haslam and if you are really lucky, I will be your geography teacher for Year 7. So your first lesson, you will be transported to a secret location where your mission will be to gather evidence on the secretive country and then report back to Mission Control. This will also be your first assessment, so we'll be able to see how good you are at geography. As the year goes on, you'll be uh, looking at things such as map skills, so uh, reading maps, four-figure and six-figure good references, map symbols, compass directions, contour lines and many more. Once you've learned all that, you will be then applying those skills in topics such as coasts, so you'll be learning some nice physical geography, and then cities, so you'll run an investigation into Liverpool, or Liverpool City, what makes it tick and what makes it run. Mr Crane and myself are extremely proud of all our lesson resources because many of them we have made ourselves and we will do our utmost to make you the best geographers you can be. So hopefully I will be meeting the next generation of David Attenborough's in the upcoming year. Thank you very much. The exciting difference between primary and secondary school is the range of lessons we study. You may or may not have already started to learn a new language. Here at South Florida, you have the opportunity to learn French. Currently, all Year 7s at South Wirral learn French. In Year 7, we appreciate that students arrive at South Wirral with a variety of past experience of language learning from primary. So we prioritise bringing all students up to speed with the fundamentals of French in the first term. We cover introductions, greetings and details in the first half term and focus heavily on phonics so that new students can quickly hold conversations with the correct pronunciation of words. Hi, I'm Faye and at primary school I learn Portuguese. Hi, my name's Joe and in primary school I learn French. Now we're learning French in year 7 at Southwell High School. I'm learning how to pronounce new words. As we progress through the year, students develop their use of opinion structures, which enables them to express their views on a range of topics such as sports, hobbies and school. We continue with a strong focus on phonics so that students can make links between the way a word is written and the way it sounds. This also allows our students to speak with confidence. Teachers keep lessons fun and give us time to process new words. 
In the classroom, we are warm, inviting and friendly. We appreciate that languages are a difficult skill, so we provide a supportive classroom environment for every child. Lessons are busy and engaging, and we take pride in the quality of our resources. Teachers always keep the lessons unique and fun. I'm very excited when I see French lessons on my sound table. In previous years, we've also hosted a singing competition for students in French, where each of the Year 7 classes performed a snippet of a song. This was really well received by students and definitely stretched our students outside of their comfort zone. At home, students are encouraged to use their knowledge organiser to practice the vocabulary learning lessons, as we think this is the best way for students to master new content. Our team of staff are very experienced and will support students in every step of their language learning journey. We really hope to see you next year. The last stop on our tour is in the last faculty. That's all the way on the top floor. Let's get in there. Hi and welcome to the maths department at South Wirral High School. We teach maths from year 7 to 13 and personal finance. There are 9 maths teachers and you are usually taught by one teacher each year. In year 7 we start with sequences so you learn to spot patterns in numbers and we move on to algebraic notation so that you are as confident working with letters as you are with numbers. Over the rest of the year we look at solving algebraic equations, place value integers, decimals, problem solving, fractions, percentages, negative numbers, geometry and probability. All students in year 7 take part in TT Rockstars at the end of each lesson to make sure the timetable facts are solidly learned and that each student is fluent in their application. During registration time, students also complete numeracy ninjas in order to try and achieve a black belt in mathematics. The SEN group have extra support and follow the Emil program, which supports in closing gaps in students' mathematical knowledge. For homework, we use a couple of online platforms, MyMaths or MathsWatch, as these offer extra support to the student in the way of videos or activities to help them embed their knowledge before answering questions. We all look forward to meeting you in September. I hope you've enjoyed your tour at Southwell High School and I look forward to seeing you next year if you choose to join our school. Bye!